This is Randy Marcotte speaking. As if you're a pan uh, panelist, you're on screen and, and smiling in camera, so thank you to our panelists. We do have uh, some great guest speakers. I'll put them in that category. I'm just an okay uh, guest speaker. Uh, if you're a viewer, you have the ability to change your layout and pin particular video. The, you do what you need to at your desktop. If you have questions about that, all of us will be moderating the logistics of the webinar. Uh, we do hope to keep this under 30 minutes, so I will at that point then uh, quiet my mouth and hand it off to Mehdi for introductions. So thank you for attending. All right, all right. Thank you again, Randy. My name is Mehdi Barrett, and thank you I, guys for joining us in our webinar. Our topic of today is Microsoft Teams and video conferencing can be flawless in 2020. All right, and our agenda for today is our introductions and outcomes. So we have Rick from Enticon, Randy from Perfect Video Conferencing, and Michelle and Matt in, from Logitech. And at the end, we're gonna have some Q&A, feedback and thoughts. And at the end, we're just gonna have like a small prize, a random selection from our guests, our, our attendees, We'll win a Boom MS Team Kit Meetup as well. And for the logistics for today, we'll be, we're going to have a thank you. We'll follow up with the recording for you guys, for your attendees, and also in the future. All our panelists are also moderators, and the chats will be answered live as we go. Q&A, we will stop recording in the Q&A section. So any parties who want to stay, you can stay. If not, you are free to leave as well. And for demos, we're glad to provide one if you want to. And we can do site surveys. And also we can meet up and get the face-to-face -face interactions. And you tell us and we'll help whatever we can. And also using Teams and this team can be flawless. We'll start with not being annoying as well. So right now, the outcomes for today is MS Teams. It can be challenging, but we can help you do it right in 2020. So the call of action for today is having a demo for you guys and also on-site or remote as you choose to. With Rick, he's gonna address uh, how Enticon can address your networking needs and license for accessible Teams video conferencing deployment. With Randy, he will talk to you about perfect video conferencing, how to install, and professional services can help you guarantee great ROI. And with Michelle and Matt, Logitech's innovative and comprehensive approach to Teams as a video conferencing platform. So right now I'm gonna hand it off to Rick, and he will talk about Enticon. Hello everyone, and welcome to the webinar. My name is Rick Hernandez. I am president and CEO of Enticon. We're an information technology solution provider located in Embryville, California. If you're not familiar with Embryville, we're right across the Bay Bridge in, near Oakland by Pixar Studios. We've been in business since 1997, just a little over 23 years. We serve many different industries, so our breadth of knowledge is very diverse and a lot of information technology areas. a little bit about our company. Later on, you can take the time and read it. Here's a little bit about our services. We provide, we provide advisors. We have a 24-hour help desk service center. We have a dedicated technologist, dedicated project manager. We also have cloud and co-location services, both in the Reno area and down in the Fremont area. We can also provide cloud and co-location services throughout the world. We also offer auditing. i sorry. Let me go back here. <laughs> too fast here. Sorry about that. Mouse went too happy there. We also provide auditing services for our customers and even on a per ad hoc basis. So we do security, software compliance, SOX, PCI, and on and on. So today I would like to focus more of our attention on Microsoft Teams. As a Microsoft partner and solution provider, Entucon can assist you with your Microsoft Teams rollout. We want to set your organization to succeed with with a new way to collaborate with your staff. Microsoft, Microsoft Team adds chat, collaboration, meeting, calling, and mobile access. All these under one product powered by Office 365 
from Microsoft. We have successfully deployed Microsoft Teams to our clients that have addressed issues with network connectivity and licensing convolution. Those are two of the things we're seeing now and we have worked those bugs out. We can provide those services for you. If you want more information about Microsoft Teams and how to properly roll it out, I can connect with you after this webinar. Thank you again for attending and here's Randy from Perfect Video Conferencing. Um, Maddie, I know that you need to, now that you're just giving me mouse control. The brainchild of this was really, this webinar today was really the problems that uh, Michelle, Matt, Rick, and I are seeing in the market. Uh, all right, let me go. So I'll tell you a little bit about me and a little bit about Perfect Video Conferencing, but the, the these three organizations actually bring the glue together. So Perfect Video Conferencing has been in business doing managed services around video conferencing before room kits and managing services, managed services actually existed. So throughout the years, we've done that by having a really loyal customer base that we have a fanatic attendance to, a strong consortium of partners. So we're, there may be a skill that you need that I don't have. We've got a great Rolodex, and we can deliver that for you underneath our perfect video conferencing brand. So you trust us. We bring in people we trust. You get the results that you want. And then unlike a lot of AV integration uh, providers, we are going to attempt to get to that perfect space, and we are going to give you a service guarantee, which is pretty unique in this industry. Uh, I'm not the guy who loves to read all the slides. I am the guy who loves to talk about what I do. So as Mehdi said, there's a call to action. You, we would love to challenge you to do a demo in any of this gear that we're going to review today or meet some of our customers or talk to us in person. Uh, but ultimately, as a HD video conferencing provider, we know that there's a number of things that you have to do right. You can do it in your office on-prem or you can do it in the cloud. To get all of that infrastructure right, we've needed skills that we don't have. And so with Microsoft, that's been our Enticon um, relationship. And I don't make cameras or I don't make the kits that go with these rooms that I love to install. And that's where Logitech is really um, not only improved but disrupted the approach to this at all and michelle and matt will will blow you away with that our experience with carriers and wan optimization has helped us see video conferencing as not just the conference room but also the infrastructure and the plumbing behind it and we've learned over time that if you only treat it like plumbing it's not going to be perfect video conferencing it's going to be meh just about okay video conferencing. Another key thing that you need to look towards in our experience has been have you trained your users? And this is especially true in a Microsoft Teams world. Users become very connected to their desktop experience and their Office 365 experience and the more seamless you can make their desktop experience with their conference room experience, the less fear of technology that they have. And so what we've what we've realized is that the more you choose quality and flexibility in equal measure, um, quality of the equipment, aka Logitech and flexity, uh, flexibility, your providers like Enticon and PVC, the more you as the internal stakeholder get to deliver to your internal customers the experience that you want. Uh, and then obviously within your organization, uh, Michelle, Rick, and I, and, and a little bit of Matt peppered in there, we'll be able to help you determine the best practices for your uh, your rollout, and that oftentimes will map to the culture of your organization and how do people use this technology. I always get challenged uh, with calling ourselves perfect video conferencing in a world of technology that can be failing, and so really that is about our core values. You know, we've, we go to perfect and we want to be measured by perfect as an approach. If we approach it that way, we'll have great partnerships, we'll come up with neat innovations, and we'll bring value to the table. Um, and we do sort of encourage you to explore those opportunities. But when when we founded the company on the premises of getting it right, much of the technology couldn't get us there. Uh, and so it was really about how do we help you look at the complicated options um, and make the right choice across various video conferencing platforms. Today, in the Microsoft world, we know that the licensing has to be right and the core infrastructure behind that license is right, and then you have to have the right people to install it, and that would be us. Um, and then beyond having the right people install it, is what do you know about your conference rooms? Cabling matters, positions of cameras matter, the type of audio all makes a difference. And, and Mehdi will send a, a couple of links to some building the right conference room. Uh, without getting fired that's posted on our blog, you're welcome to um, 
you're welcome to take a look at that and get some free intel about how do you build those right conference rooms. We will never pull it off until we get the right equipment, which then gives me ta -da, the transition to Michelle. So Michelle, with, with that said, we really love having you aboard. And thanks to you and Matt and the Logitech team for making Teams easy and exciting for those of us who used to scoff at it, because that really had been our experience. We'd sort of say, oh, Teams, here we go. Wait, wait, welcome mm -hmm. to the poop show. Um, you've helped make it easy. And so with that, uh, I Thank pause you. and hand it to you. Yeah, sounds great. Thanks, everyone. And thanks for including us to support and talk to you a little bit about uh, Logitech and how we partner with Microsoft. Um, I will advance, say, if I have to mute, I apologize. I am uh, suffering from a cough today. So this is the beauty of this technology. Uh, so if you see me go in and out, that might be why. Um, so today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how we partner with Microsoft, what we're seeing in the industry, and how we're going to market with some of our solutions with the support of Perfect Video, um, enabling you as the customer. So, let's see. There we go, sorry. So what we're seeing is, you know, the reality of where, where we're at in meeting rooms is um, today only 5% of them are equipped with video. Um, I'm sure many of you can look at your own conference spaces and see that. The majority of them still have a display and a conference phone in the center of the room, maybe a whiteboard, um, but truly enabling them to be collaborative, especially in the team space, is something that is very much an opportunity for all of us to enable for the employees within your organizations. So a little bit about why to work with Logitech, if you haven't in the past, and a little bit of our history here is, um, you know, we've done a lot since 1995, which is when we came out with our first webcam. And um, we are the market leader with Microsoft with all of our products. They're USB, USB based, um, so they can handle mass deployments. Um, and they're, des they're designed for that. Um, our transition into the video space, and especially with Microsoft, came around 2016 with the Smart Dock, if you remember that, and that worked hand in hand um, with the Surface Pro. And now we'll talk to you a little bit about TAP and how we've evolved it um, and show you that solution and the bundles that we're seeing a lot of success with um, in the conference room space. And we'll talk a little bit about the different environments that we're seeing within our customers. So Logitech and Microsoft have a long history, many, many years, but specifically within the last six to seven years, we've aligned very closely around Skype for Business and Teams to really help with that um, collaborative tool within your, um, within your environments. Logitech's a Microsoft Gold Partner. Um, we have certified devices, as I've said, and I'll show you again. And we work very closely together um, on that joint development side. So um, very strong relationship there and um, very happy to have that. So really where it comes to the Teams enabled devices, Logitech's perspective is really to support any collaborative workspace for your customers. So whether it's a personal workspace, similar to what I'm sitting at right now at my um, desktop or mobile, or the shared collaborative spaces, um, and then all the way up to the conference rooms. So you'll see there, we'll talk a little bit about the headsets, webcams, and of course, what Logitech is known for, which we're not gonna get into today, but obviously the keyboards and mice, and then some of the shared devices. So Teams, um, you know, these are all certified and important devices to make sure that you're looking at. Michelle, I did get a chat come in to me uh, for a question specifically for you, but I did want to just acknowledge uh, verbally here to the other folks that are chatting in to me that we will cover all of those. I'm capturing your questions and we'll get those at the end. So sorry for the interruption, Michelle, but I, did, I didn't want to let that person hang. Sure, no worries. Yeah, we'll get to that at the end. Um, so enabling the personal collabor um, collaboration space for teams is really important. What you know, Matt and I are seeing and, and others um, within the industry and within Logitech is, you know, video is now at the desktop level. And it's really important to be able to um, evolve and support those collaborative spaces for your customers to or for your employees to really have the best experience possible for teams. Um, spending all this time to do these rollouts, you really want to make sure that uh, the deployment and the adoption is where it needs to be. And I think that these solutions that we have can help with that. So when you look at this as far as the webcam and a headset and 
the others on here are obviously using the headset and this is what it looks like i'm just in a quiet space here which is why i don't have my headset on um, but i am using the brio camera so these are this is a great solution for at the desktop space to really enrich that true teams collaboration and like i said really boost um, boost the productivity within um, your the user experience within your employees so it really creates a culture of employee engagement I can tell you so many stories about how before I even met Matt we were on video all the time and when I met him you just feel like you really do know that person so it's an important culture conversation as well within your customers so let's talk about um, our opportunities here on tap which is the new solution here so um, the we have a you know the one microsoft teams experience for any space i've talked about the personal now we can talk about the different room sizes here so anything from a telephone space all the way to the end or to the left versus some of the huddle rooms and those different sizes into the conference room and obviously into a potential training room so we really take the approach of these bundles to support you to um choose the right solution from the get-go and then uh, not only consume it and you know procure it through perfect video but also enhance it and we we have other accessories that are there to also help with that um, so this is what it looks like so when we when we talk about the teams the tap bundles which is what you'll hear us say it's small medium and large and then like i said additional accessories are always there for you as far as how to set it up in your room and randy can obviously with the team very much support that in the right solution for you um, but on the left we've got our small um, microsoft tap bundle which is our meetup which is our video soundbar as well as um, the pc there which happens to be a nook um, as well as our tap and then we have the medium, which is our rally solution. So the medium is rally with one uh, speaker and one mic pod, and then the tap as well. And then the large, the difference is it's just an additional speaker as well as an additional mic pod. And it is worthy to note that you can expand that and extend it up to seven mic pods. So that would be part of those accessories that we can certainly you know, support you with and, and making sure that it's the right design uh, for your customers. So this is what it looks like. Um, you know, it's a really nice sleek design when we look at kind of that old smart doc solution that the tap has really evolved into this very sleek 10, you know, 10 inch display, antique glare, um, the motion sensor is really important. So it lights up when they walk into the room and just quite a comfortable angle. It can be on the table or on the wall, mounted where, where um, applicable. And so I think at this point, I will probably pause from slides and let Matt take over and just show you a little bit about it and, and then we can certainly open it up to Q&A. So, Matty, if you wouldn't mind um, closing the up. The timing is good on that too because there's a couple of questions that came in about how, what, and when. So I just created a quick little poll about how many people have actually done a Teams or a Skype rule deployment. So I think that'll help give Matt some base around. So I'm going to launch a quick poll question. Um, everyone has, and I'll, um, and there's a couple of chat coming in. It's basically, you know, have you tried Skype or Team Rooms deployments? Um, and we're just trying to get an idea of like yes or no, or what a nightmare, or I had no idea what time it was. Um, we've got about 18 people in this webinar, so I'm going to give, uh, and panelists, you can play too if you want to. Um, uh, the logistics about the drawing too, we want to make sure that, you know, people came because we're dangling some fruit in front of you, or some awesome teams, a, a boom uh, speaker. We are also enabling that for, uh, those who watch the feed because we'll get some feedback from the infrastructure about who's watched the webinar and we're going to keep that going for about 30 days and then we're going to there's a online random generator and so we're actually just going to dump everyone into that random generator and winner winner chicken dinner pick someone out of that so um i'm going to close out the poll at about the f 60 one two great um so we're getting about 33 percent of the folks saying a couple more coming in. Uh, three people with it being a nightmare. Uh, six people saying they didn't know how. Uh, I don't have time is another big one. Um, only only two of the group saying is yes, it was great, uh, which is kind of what we know about historical deployment. So I would I, I don't know, and we can open the mic later. But I, I imagine that either the the two that did it and it was great are likely on this platform. 
uh, or abuse someone like Rick. Um, those that um, those are who it was a nightmare for them. They didn't use us. They didn't use us. So then um, that's a lesson learned, and we can help you. So we like we like to be the cleanup crew. Um, so I'm going to end the poll. Chat me any questions. I see a couple more coming in. You can also send the chat out to a uh, the all group. Um, although clearly based on this, I like to talk. I'll be glad to get those chat questions through, but the rest of the team can answer as well. So Mehdi, thanks for that transition. And um, Matt, your turn. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, folks, for joining here today. My name is Matt Jordan. I am a technical sales overlay on the video collaboration portion of Logitech. And I'm switching camera sources so that I can show you with uh, the individual webcam that Michelle had as part of her presentation. I now am pointing at a tap device in the forefront, a monitor that's connected to that and then as you can see right there on top, the meetup devices are all in one camera. And what this allows me to do is we've made the choice that we're going with Teams or Skype for Business. And then I have a one-touch join experience here in Room. So I'm going to use my finger here to hit join. One-touch join. I put down the tap device. You can see I'm in that video first experience with Teams straight away. Uh, and I can drive the whole meeting experience from this tap device, but uh, otherwise I can just leave it in the room and have the experience and have that Teams experience where it's video first, that camera that's on top of the monitor right now uh, is, um, excuse me, this is just a lab I set up today for this uh, call, um, but that device itself is certified for Teams, so it is doing a lot of the audio processing, video processing. Uh, Teams knows that that device is gonna work well, uh, make your uh, endpoints look and sound great on Teams. So uh, there's a lot of integration with regards to uh, some of the advanced features, and that is all available because of our partnership and certifying with this Microsoft Teams room experience. And so beyond this little live demo here, I am going to shut up and open it up for Randy to be able to um, ask some of those questions, if they're pertinent now. Of course, I have to unmute, so that means Mehdi, if you wouldn't mind heading back to the uh, the cat picture. Um, ultimately, we want you to have our contact information. Uh, Matt, I think you need to stop, or maybe Mehdi's, oh, there we go. Uh, we want you to have our contact information, uh, which is coming up with the next thing. We also, if we're going to do something on the internet, there should be a little bit of a cat video or some kind of joke. Um, but if you can't reach us, there's an error. So. But um bump. All right, Mehdi, go to the next one so we can have the contact information. Uh, note this down. Uh, feel free to reach out to us directly. Uh, to whatever superpower you're looking for, Michelle, Rick, or I will uh, pivot to the resources uh, that you need. Uh, in the questions that I got, uh, I think there's one that's specifically for for you, Matt. So I will facilitate those. Um, there's a couple that can be bundled together about legacy equipment. Uh, the question came in is like, can we use any of this with legacy equipment? And any everyone here can correct me if I'm wrong, but what I'll say generally about that is that this is designed to be a platform that replaces the legacy gear to improve the conference room experience, but Microsoft Teams can certainly work with H323 or SIP-based systems. So uh, while we can use any existing polycom or life-size gear that uh, meets the today's standards, um, this could be a, a replacement because what we're going to be looking for is a clean end-user experience. The adoption levels will go up, the satisfaction levels for you will go up. So a couple of questions came in about infrastructure that you currently have. Absolutely, there's no reason to torpedo it. We also pride ourselves in being able to help you with buybacks or uh, recycles and sort of other options. The best deployments, in my experience, of this infrastructure is fresh, clean start, depreciate the stuff you have, um, uh, rock it out and get some new stuff, but uh, but we can be flexible. So that was a big one that came in. Um, Rick, there was a question about licensing um, that I um, and bandwidth. So um, is there a particular license type that came in? I don't, I don't know for sure if you know any of that. So Matt, Rick, types of licenses that are needed for this, and then how much bandwidth is needed. Four megs per leg is a general rule of thumb for bandwidth on high definition calls, but um, we can certainly do less. Rick or Matt? Uh, on, the, on the licensing, um, I can definitely work with the 
the individual and, and just answer his question directly. It just mm -hmm. really depends on, on how many users and how many rooms, et cetera. Yeah, ultimately the question was, does this come with the Office 365 cloud subscription or do I need something special for uh, this? It, it depends on what level you're in. I know the enterprise, it does come with it bundled, yeah. but the others, I'm not really sure on that. I have to check, but we use the enterprise for our business and it does come with it. Michelle or Matt, anything to add on that? We want to keep this. Certainly. So when you buy the tap bundle from uh, Perfect, uh, you're going to get the appropriate camera, mic, and speaker uh, from Logitech. You're going to get the tap display. You're going to get a Windows 10 Intel NUC that is running Microsoft Teams Room. We do not provide the Office 365 or resource account license uh, for that room. And that would be provided by the customer. And there are many different iterations. You can use everything from an E1 to an E5 license. There are specific SKUs for the Microsoft Teams room resource uh, account. And that would get you just Teams access and a calendar. Uh, and is really more um, a way to just have these specific accounts just for the room-based uh, account not to eat up a full e5 license mm -hmm. great um tracking question came in on the camera i'll come to that one so what i'm going to do there's four or five questions in. i'm going to look to bundle them uh, we are also going to keep uh keep this into the sort of 30 35 minute range and so for those that have really specific questions we will end the recording and then open up the mics if you just want to have a real shop talk the group here has given ourselves an hour uh, and again, we want to keep the recording brief. So tracking camera options in this solution, um, I know there's some framing. Um, so for us, when we approach tracking, it's is it framing or tracking that you're looking for? And the Logitech camera has a, a software in it where you can actually do some framing of the room, but not individualized tracking. But there's no reason it's USB. There's no reason we couldn't bring in a tracking camera to that infrastructure. We oftentimes start with what the Rally camera does naturally with its magic, but I know there's roadmap stuff that we probably can't talk about here. So tracking, Matt or Michelle, is there anything that um, we'd want to mention today? Yeah, you could uh, Google or Bing uh, right site. Um, mm -hmm. That's the technology that Randy just referenced that uses our 4K cameras, so our meetups and our rallies, to look for human bodies. And even if I had my back turned to you all and was writing on a whiteboard, we'd be able to recognize that's a human body. And we try to then set the shot so that we have every human that's in the room in the shot. So that when I keep talking and Michelle rolls her eyes in the room and says, you know, something like, is this guy ever going to shut up? You all see that, even though she's not said anything verbally, she's really saying something. And that's uh, our right site technology. Uh, to speak to the auto tracking, you know, speaker tracking, that's not how we've done it. We want to see everyone, not just the active speaker in the room, because we think that can add to fatigue, where a camera may be going back and forth between people having an active conversation. And we also feel like uh, it can take uh, people out of the conversation if a camera all of a sudden just hones in right on them. So that's why we've chosen to just frame the human bodies with the Logitech right site technology. Great. Um, there's a question from Hermit that um, I may need some clarification on. So if you can uh, follow up on that one, I'll, I'll decipher. It's about presentation. I think I got it, but I'll come back to that one in a minute. A uh, question about um, does Logitech uh, medium and large rooms integrate with CMS? Um, so if that's the uh, call management uh, software from Cisco, no, we do not. Uh, we have USB peripherals. All of our devices are USB devices. Our tap touch display that I showed you, our cameras, mics, and speakers. We adhere to USB standards. So, and we've opened our API up to partners like Crestron and Extron. So mm -hmm. if you're using those type of room-based controls to tie into a larger Cisco ecosystem, that might be a way to do it. But until Cisco starts using our standards-based API controls for our USB devices, we're not able to offer you that level of integration in their software platform. Yeah, Cisco shops will oftentimes go with the WebEx kits, of which sort of the Logitech 
equipment could be used behind a WebEx kit as a USB peripheral. That wouldn't be the integrated kits, like with TAP, but the Logitech cameras and infrastructure could certainly be used for VoIP registration. We've hacked this a little bit in putting a, a, a smart PC in line with Logitech gear and a Cisco VoIP registration. So there are, because Cisco is a competitor to this infrastructure, they do have their own video conferencing kits for WebEx meetings, but if you're in if you're not interested in a closed-loop ecosystem, um, or if you're absolutely interested in a Microsoft Teams ecosystem, you're gonna, there's going to be middleware in between there, and that's something Rick and I can certainly help you with. The peripherals that Logitech are offering will help with that, but uh, thanks for that, Matt, and there are ways around it with uh, a simple VoIP registration. I would say, though, that the Microsoft Teams VoIP solution for sending an invite out in those conference rooms, it's normally people would meet you in the cloud and they call in, so you may not actually need that CMS integration for the conference room because there is already VoIP built into the Teams infrastructure. And like you've done today, uh, you've gone in on a computer and you could have come in on audio. Calendar integration was a couple of people came in with that, so yes, absolutely. Uh, but uh, but the question beyond that, the secondary question around calendar integration was like, do you have the ability to do scheduling control? So outside of the room um, meeting and and what shows up on screen. So uh, generally speaking, I, Matt, I could I could ramble on that, but I just did. So maybe your turn. I'll hand that one off to you. Certainly. So, you know, the function of the calendar uh, is baked into this offering. So I'm going to switch over to my Brio again. I'm going to bring up the meetup. So that calendar invite that has this meeting for this time frame uh, is uh, through an Outlook invite. I've invited the room as a resource in Outlook, and I invited room ABC. And ABC room was invited to Matt's meeting so that when Michelle walked in, she can join Matt's meeting in room ABC uh, because of that calendar integration. And that's what that uh, meeting room SKU license for the Microsoft Teams room really offers you is calendar access and Teams. Uh, if you need to uh, go any further with the licensing, like add in PSTN calling, maybe an enterprise license would be better served, but you'd still have that calendar integration through the Microsoft Outlook. Uh, can, you, and can you put two of those in so you have one of those outside of the room for the, the room controller? Great or, or question, controller? Randy. So technically, the answer is these devices have a USB bus that allows them to be daisy-chained. What we need to do is have our partners at Microsoft be able to say, oh, I see that there are two tap devices connected. One should have the call controls. The, one, the other one is going to be placed at the door and should be a busy indicator. And that's mm -hmm. all something that's baked into the logic of the application, mm -hmm. not necessarily the Logitech hardware. So as soon as our partners know that they want to enable a secondary touch display and they write their applications to do so, then absolutely the use case that you're talking about there would be feasible. That's a very um, gentle way of saying that's a Microsoft issue and we have to hold our breath. The other thing I'll say Until about then, <laughs> yeah, there's working solutions that yeah, do... Most people will go to Outlook on their phone and schedule it and yeah. use an Envoy or some kind of room scheduler as a complement to this because it's calendar integrated and you can send that information to a Joe or anything else to say red red or green for those conferencing rooms. Rick and I have tons of solutions for outside of the room to make sure that people know not to disturb the room if it's in use digitally. And you can look at your phone if you've done integration properly. So here's your wall scheduler. Um, digital signage was part of that, so the same logic follows. There are absolutely ways you can use those displays in those conference rooms for healthcare alerts or uh, Taco Tuesday or whatever whatever it is you're going to do, um, we can use these TVs for digital signage. That was one that came in. So I'm in wrap up mode. Um, there's uh, how can you do presentations? I got some clarification on this with this video conferencing. We ship demo kits to site. We roll to people sites. We sell globally. Our specialty has been the Western states, but we have installs all around the country. Uh, and then we also have localized partners. So if we're not the right fit for you in Denver. Logitech, Rick, and Randy have lots of friends elsewhere, so we can guide you in the right direction. Um, and so we can, um, uh, the other part of that question is like, how do you do content sharing? So absolutely any video conferencing solution that comes in uh, through us, you can use these TVs and this infrastructure as a projector. There's a there's an HDMI uh, 
pass-through on the back of it, so you can plug your laptop into it. And then there's also wireless content sharing devices that could connect to this, so you can go wireless, then there goes Matt. Timing is everything. Bang. Uh, put a dongle on that, put an HDMI connection on, you can plug your laptop in. This doesn't have to be video conferencing. You can use these great TVs as projectors. Uh, all right, so um, with that, there are a couple of redundant questions, so I'm not going to... Uh, redundant-ish questions, so if in chat I haven't adequately answered the questions that you had um, with the other merge questions, call me out on it. Um, I do see a number of people have dropped off during the time frame, so I am going to stop recording. Um, and for those of you that stay, for the next five minutes I will open your mic if you message me saying you'd like to have a live conversation. So, um, Mehdi, Michelle, Rick, Matt, on behalf of the group, I'm going to say thank you to those who participated. We really do appreciate that. For those of you that recorded, thank you. um, you're going to you're going to want to um, register on the recording or email us that you have watched the recording so we can enter you within the next 30 days on the drawing. And um, we do appreciate you listening in. Please tell your friends. Um, we're here to help, and this can be complicated. Video conferencing can be great in 2020, and Teams does not have to make it break. We're here to help. All right. So I've